and welcome to another Wondershare Recovery video. In today's video, I'll be providing a solution to a very annoying problem, and that is having your PC stuck on a BIOS screen. Imagine that you are ready for an important digital task, all suited up and looking classy. And then boom, you discover that your PC is stubbornly stuck on the BIOS screen. But don't worry, because I'm here with a solution. But before we get into the details of that, why don't you help me make this account grow? It is really simple. All you need to do is to hit the like button and then subscribe to the channel. But now, without further delays, let me show you how to fix your stuck computer. There are a lot of reasons why your PC would get stuck on the BIOS screen. But for the sake of this video, I will only talk about two reasons. First up, we've got the hardware issue. Sometimes the components of your PC can just decide they want some extra attention. It might be just something simple like your RAM losing contact with the motherboard, or something bad like your hard drive being damaged. This thing can place your computer hostage at the BIOS screen. Secondly, you might be faced with a very deadly situation like an outdated BIOS firmware. Imagine that your PC is trying to read from a script that is unfortunately out of date. It could make your PC misbehave and even go as far as needing some tech experts to remedy the situation. If your PC is suffering from any of these issues, then you might find some of the solutions that I'm about to provide to you very helpful. I have handpicked three fixes for eliminating the BIOS screen problem. So let's check them out. To restore your BIOS to the default settings, first you need to access the BIOS settings. I will show you how to do this in just a few steps. To begin entering the BIOS setup, turn on your computer and then begin to press the key required to access BIOS. This key is normally F2, however it can also be the Dell key on some laptops. So pay close attention to the screen for a prompt suggesting the proper key. And now just continue to press the key until the BIOS settings menu opens. Once you are in the BIOS settings, locate Load Default Options. This is usually accessed by pressing the F9 key. Selecting this option will prompt you to confirm your decision to restore the BIOS to its original factory default settings. To proceed with the restoration, just select Yes. If you prefer, however, or if your BIOS layout offers this, you should navigate to the Security section. Within this menu, you'll find an option for resetting the BIOS. The exact naming may vary depending on your motherboard, but it will be clear that this option is for resetting or restoring BIOS settings. And finally, after resetting the BIOS to the default settings, ensure that you save your changes. Just look for the Save and Exit option then select this, and your computer will reboot with the default BIOS settings all applied. By following these steps, you effectively reset your BIOS to default, which can then resolve issues related to the PC being stuck on the BIOS screen. The boot order refers to the sequence in which a computer searches for an operating system across different storage devices during startup. If this is the problem, then you will be faced with the BIOS screen. So let me show you how to fix that in five simple steps. The first step is to enter the BIOS setup by starting your computer and immediately pressing the key to enter the BIOS. This key is often displayed on the screen during startup and is typically F2 or Dell, or another function key. Press this key repeatedly until the BIOS setup menu is displayed. Once you are in the BIOS setup, use the arrow keys to find the boot tab or menu. This section is dedicated to configuring how your computer starts up, including the order in which it checks devices for an operating system. Taking a look at the boot menu, 
you'll see a list of devices such as a hard drive, a USB drive, or CD DVD drive that your computer can boot from. So check the order in which these devices are listed. Your primary hard drive, which contains your operating system, should be listed as the first boot device. If you discover the hard drive is not set as the first boot device, you'll need to adjust the order. So select the hard drive by using the designated keys, often the plus and minus keys, or maybe a specific function key, to move it to the top of the list. This ensures that your computer attempts to boot from the hard drive first. After adjusting the boot order, navigate to the exit menu or find the option to save and exit file setup. This action will save your changes and restart your computer. So just make sure to confirm any prompts to save all your changes. And so by ensuring your computer's boot order prioritizes the hard drive with the operating system on it, you can then resolve issues where your PC is stuck on the file screen. This will also allow for a successful boot into your operating system. To resolve a PC being stuck on a BIOS screen, performing a startup repair can be an effective solution. So here's how you should go about that. First of all, use another computer or laptop to create a bootable USB or DVD with Windows installation files. You then need to insert this media into your affected PC. Then restart it and press the key to open the boot menu. Now select the USB or DVD to boot from. On the Windows setup screen, select Next. Then repair your computer. Then choose Troubleshoot and then Advanced Options. You now want to click on Startup Repair and then follow any further prompts. Windows will attempt to diagnose and fix startup issues automatically. This process can identify and repair issues preventing your PC from boosting normally, including problems leading to being stuck on the BIOS screen. When your PC unfortunately gets stuck on the BIOS screen, rescuing your data becomes a top priority to avoid losing valuable information due to a hard drive failure. The most dependable way to do this is by using the Wondershare Recovery Tool. This application is designed to help you safely and effectively recover crucial files with ease. So here's how to get started. The first step is to find a second computer that works and then download Recover It. Install it to create a recovery drive that can boot. Now run the application and explore the recovery options it offers. What you want to do is to select System Crashed Computer to specifically target data recovery on a system that's facing issues. The application will automatically guide you through making a new bootable drive. Remember, creating this drive will erase its current data, so make sure that everything important is backed up elsewhere. It's now time to insert the bootable drive into the PC that is stuck on the BIOS screen. You might need to access the BIOS to set the PC to boot from your newly created drive. Once your computer starts using the bootable drive, Recover It kicks into gear and begins the data recovery process. So make sure you keep the drive connected throughout to avoid any interruptions. And thus, by following these steps, your data will be 100% safe. And with that, we do come to the end of today's video. But please drop your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know if you know of any other methods that would be useful and of course, dependable. Don't forget to kindly subscribe to the channel as well. And if you did find this video helpful, then why not drop a like? But until next time, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all at some point very soon in the next informative video.